This is it when it's all dry. I absolutely love how my hair came out. So if you want to go from this to this, keep watching. So I washed my hair in the shower and before I put any product in, the first thing I do is just wet my hair. I make sure it's completely soaked so that any product that's sitting right on top of my hair gets washed out. Then I go in with the Carol's Daughter Coca Cream Shampoo. And to start off, I only put one pump into my hand. And I focus mostly on the perimeter of my head. So I start at the very front and then I make my way to the back just because I do my edges and the perimeter of my hair is typically what I touch up. So that normally has the most product in it. Then I go and I split my hair down the middle. I do another pump, I put that right on the part, and I make sure I do that all the way to the back. Then I just go back to the perimeter of my head and make sure everything is mixed in, making sure I focus on the perimeter and then also where I parted my hair. Then I split the two sections of my hair in half so that I have two more sections and I focus the shampoo right on that part. Then I took a mini break because I kind of just wanted to see how my hair looked. Now I'm just going in and washing my hair like normal, not just focusing on the parted pieces but focusing on all of my hair. After I feel like my scalp is pretty clean, I go and just rinse out all of the product. I make sure to focus again on the perimeter and on those parts just because I know that's where most of the shampoo is. Next, I go in with the Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength Conditioner, and I absolutely love this stuff. I put a decent amount of product in my hand, rub that in, and then I start raking it through my hair. My hair instantly just takes in all of the conditioner, so I make sure I go back in multiple times just to make sure that my hair is completely coated in conditioner. Here's a close up of my hair after conditioner. You can already see that the curls are starting to form. Now it's time to rinse my hair and I make sure I get most of the product out, but not all. I leave around 30% of the conditioner in my hair. Then I dry my hair with a t-shirt and I start by putting the t-shirt on like normal and then pretend that I'm taking it off again, making sure that the collar of the shirt is at the perimeter of my head, twisting it up and just tucking it. Because I have conditioner on my body, this is where I would go ahead and shower before getting out and doing my actual hair. Okay guys, so I just got out of the shower. I haven't looked at my hair yet. Let's see. This is what my hair looks like right now. While I was washing my hair, I realized how uneven it was, but I'm not gonna fix it. I'm just gonna wait for it to grow out a decent amount and then I'm gonna probably get it cut by actual hairstylist. This is what it looks like right out of the shower. My curls are like not defined at all. And my hair is like, it's definitely damp. It's like lightly damp. It's not soaking wet. The shirt absorbs most of the water. This is the first product that I go in with. It's the Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk and I absolutely love this. I mostly only use this on wash day. I don't really use this to touch up my curls. I put a big clump like in the middle of my hand. I put a lot of product. I make sure I mix in with my hands and then I just kind of go in all over. We're gonna go in with some more and focus that kind of on the back and the sides. I kind of just go by feel. So I feel like there's not enough of my edges. So I 
I will put some more and focus right on my edges. Now it feels like my hair is evenly coated. Next, I go in with the Curls Creme Brulee Whipped Curl Cream. I brought these two products at the same exact time and this is up here because like I said, I only use it on wash days. This product is all the way down here because I use this to also touch up my curls. I absolutely love it. So I do the same thing. I put a bunch in the palm of my hand, rub it in and just kind of go throughout my hair like that until I feel like it's coated. And already you guys can see how this stuff works. My curls are starting to form and I haven't even finger coiled anything. Then I go in and I put this just on the tips of my hands like that and I rub it on the other side and I go in mostly around the perimeter of my hair and I finger coil just with that product. And these finger coils don't have to be perfect because I'm gonna go in and finger coil them again. And whenever I feel like there's no more product on my hand, I just go in and put some more. I feel like this middle part of my hair like didn't get any love. So I'm gonna go in with some more of the curl cream, literally the smallest bit, not a lot, you guys rub that in and focus that just on the area that I feel like I didn't get. Then I use the Main Choice Sealing Cream. I honestly got this because it was on sale. I got it a while ago and I was like, you know what, sealing cream, maybe that's what I need. I will say I'm not obsessed with this product, but I love the smell of it and I love how it makes my hair feel. I feel like my curls also look so good when I use this product and this is also only a wash day product. I don't ever touch up this product. I always mix in the products before I put them in my hair. And again, I'm literally just raking through. Most products, I just rake through my hair. That's why I said don't focus too much on making those finger coils perfect. I'm literally messing them up right now. I think the only reason I really do it is because I love when the perimeter of my hair is defined. Because when I touch up my hair throughout the week and I'm kind of like in a rush, like it never takes too long to do my hair. Sometimes I don't feel like finger coiling all of my hair. So when I don't feel like doing that, I'll just focus around the perimeter and it makes the biggest difference ever if you're in a rush. The last part I go in with is this Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls. So if you guys watch my Big Chop video, you know I cut my hair once before and this was the staple product when I cut my hair the first time. My hair absolutely loved it. It grew back so quick, you guys. I will say, depending on what you pair it with, it does leave your hair feeling a little dry which is why I put in so many products before I put the gel in. This is how I define my curls. I already put it across my fingertips and mixed it in. I'm not doing this any special type of way. I'm literally just going in and my hair is not super long at all. I do one maybe two wraparounds and the curl is already formed. If you guys can see already the difference you can already see the difference. Also there is white residue that dries clear so I'm not worried about that. When I feel like I have no more product on my hand, I just go in and put some more across my fingertips. I don't want the gel all over my hand because I'm only curling it with my fingers, you know? I do this to literally all of my hair. I try to get every single piece. Less than 10 minutes to do all of my hair for sure. So it's not super time consuming at all. So I'm just going to speed this part up because I'm doing the same thing. All right, you guys, so I finished finger coiling all of my hair. This is what it's looking like. I still have to do my edges. I always do my edges right after. That's completely optional, of course, but I feel like edges are a must, especially when I have my hair short. I just love it so much more when I do my edges. So I've been struggling with finding good edge control for years. So if you guys have something that you think will work with my hair, please comment down below right now. Please let me know. This is the current edge control that I'm using, which is Edge Fixer. I do like this. It does lay my hair down, but I think that's also because I cut my edges, you guys. This has made the biggest difference ever. I also have heard of girls relaxing or firming their edges. I'm not ready for that yet. You know what I mean? Just 
because I've never had a relaxer. So I am a little iffy to do that, but I did cut them. This section of my hair right here is a lot shorter than the rest of my hair. Same with this side. This section of my hair is a lot shorter. I also cut um, this part right here. So I do shave my sideburns because they come down a little bit right here, very lightly. They're not super dark or full. I cut about here and same on this side. This is also super, super short. And I realized since I cut them, my edges just look so much better and they also lay down a lot better. Oh, also this edge control is the maximum hold one, Strawberry Acai. I have never tried another kind that they have because I know they have a lot of different scents. I've never tried another scent, but if there's a better scent or a better hold, definitely let me know you guys. I kind of just bought this on a whim because I was out of options and I've tried so many different edge controls and nothing works for me. I do my edges the same way most of the time. I love the two big swoops right here. I think they're super cute. And then I do the sideburn swoop. I don't really know if that's what it's called, but just a small swoop by the ear. And I just like for that one to kind of like lay down and kind of come to a point at the end, kind of like that. Sometimes I will add an extra one right here. Maybe later in the week I might do that, but I'm just not feeling it today. So here is a slightly better view of my hair. I know that the curtain, it being dark and my hair being dark, kinda messes it up a little bit. Here's what my hair looks like. I absolutely love how it came out. The edges eat. I love how the edges look. I love my cute little curls. It looks so good already, so I know once it dries, it's gonna look 10 times better, you guys. I am gonna let you guys know how it looks when it dries just in case you're interested but this is it when it is wet so this is it when it's all dry I absolutely love how my hair came out I think it's super cute you guys love wash day because my hair always feels like 10 times healthier and 10 times cleaner if you guys want more hair videos definitely let me know but that's all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye